One of the reasons you're seeing so many of those retro black license plates on the roads is because Colorado has been leaning on people to ditch their old plates. A recent state law requires most of us to get a new license plate when we get a new car. Marshall Zellinger shares my nerdy fascination with license plates. We know a lot of you do too because you write in about this all the time. Marshall, this new license plate requirement, I mean, that's helped juice the popularity of these black plates. They're the sixth most, most popular in the state, even though they're only, what, like eight months old? Eight months old, and the reason we can blame is bumpiness. Lawmakers decided that the raised numbers and letters on the regular license plate will wear out over time, so now they require you to replace these when you get a new car, hence all those black license plates. But those new black license plates, and even like the alumni license plate here, they're printed and not raised. So if you have one of these smooth license plates, you can take this with you to a new car. With more than 5 million of these on the road, the green on white license plate is far and away the most popular in Colorado. For anyone who has one of these plates, when you get a new car, you are required to get a new plate. Through the process of driving on dirt roads or using a lot of car washes, um, the reflectivity gets reduced. Plates with raised letters and numbers that might wear out are one of the reasons then Republican, now Democratic State Senator Kevin Priola sponsored the bill in 2021. Uh, actually, I passed a gentleman in a pickup today that his front plate was completely metal. So I don't know exactly how he did it, but it was there was no color on it. New plates also mean they can be recognized by law enforcement, which also means law enforcement license plate scanners, as well as scanners on toll roads. We don't slow down and throw quarters in a, a big machine like we did back in the day. The popularity of license plates has changed since we showed some of the rankings last month. The second most popular plate remains the temporary tag with more than 319,000. Fleet plates, which are red on white mountains, are in third, 185,000. Collector plates for older cars are in fourth with 112,000. The designer plate is fifth with 93,000. The new black plate, which has only been around since January, is already in sixth, followed by the Columbine plate. Disabled veteran, wildlife sporting, and in 10th, the blue on white mountains plate that car dealers use. Some plates do not have to be replaced. Special plates like Adopt a Shelter Pet or Pioneer and school alumni plates like CU and UNC, these are digitally printed and smooth and can be transferred to a new car. So you want to keep those random letters and numbers, like I said there, in the smooth style, most of the smooth styles, you can take it with you to a new car. But let's say you just cannot think of remembering another license plate and you're married to having AZZ K66. If you want this on a new car, you can still have it, Kyle. You just have to pay to have it personalized. 60 bucks the first year, 25 bucks every year after that to have AZZ K66. No. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's I'm no. The worst personalized plate. Right? Yeah, pay you sixty see. bucks a year to make an as of yourself K six six. No, not gonna happen. All right, Marshall, thank you. You're